Hai Sobat Kampuspedia, selamat datang kembali di Youtube channel dari Kampuspedia. Gimana nih kabarnya? Semoga dalam keadaan sehat selalu ya. Di video part 1, kita sudah membahas tentang tips-tips interview pakai bahasa Inggris. Buat yang belum nonton, bisa klik link videonya di description box ya. Nah, kali ini kita akan membahas simulasi interview dan seputar pertanyaan-pertanyaan yang ditanyakan ke Kak Carol di sesi online career class. Yang penasaran? Yuk, yuk simak videonya! Um, halo, uh, Rahmatra. Thank you for uh, spending your time to have interview with us. Uh, thank you, Miss Caroline, uh, for uh, taking your time to doing interview. Yes, uh, my pleasure as well. So you applied for this uh, position in our company. Uh, before uh, I want to know about that thing, uh, may I know first about yourself? Can you tell me about yourself? Okay. Uh, my name is Toku Rahmatra. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm a first graduate of marine engineer. Okay. Uh, I have uh, some work experiences. Mm -hmm. uh, I had uh, uh, I had uh, some as a research assistant mm -hmm. in with energy conversion, uh, doing some engineering design and boring configuration about the the wave energy, and I had also. Uh, built my company in 2016 till 2018. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a startup for 3D printing services. Uh, oh. I really appreciate about uh, design. Okay, thank you. Okay, I see. Interesting. So, uh, may I know where did you uh, have your study? Where did you uh, study? I'm a, a graduate from. Marine Engineering Department at Institute of Technology School November Surabaya. Okay, I see. Interesting. So, um, besides engineering, you are interested in design? Uh, yeah. Uh, actually, the design and engineering is very related because mm -hmm. where uh, engineering is, uh, is uh, I'm sorry, design is as a language for engineering knowledge. Mm, okay, I see. So, um, so have some ex um in design and also engineering back uh, when you had your study. Oh, sorry, I can uh, hear clearly. Can you tell me some experiences about design and also engineering oh, uh, back in your campus? Okay, uh, that's a really interesting question. Uh, I had some experience uh, doing uh, engineering. Uh, there's uh, some uh, uh, some projects I had worked. Uh, uh, the first one is a uh, wave inversion design. So I design uh, boring configuration and uh, detailed engineering design about wave energy conversion. Uh, the locations mm -hmm. it's located on in in Bali in Nusa Penida. Mm -hmm. So uh, we have to consider the weather uh, condition and uh, how many power the waves is. And the second one, the, the ship design. So I designed a mission a, a ship piping design mm -hmm. for oil system oil system growing in Banker Oil Vessel. Okay. Okay, interesting. And then, um, as for your professional working experiences, do you have some? Or like internship programs? Oh yes, I have uh, three times uh, for internship program. The first one, uh, the latest one from November till January 2020. Mm -hmm. So at the uh, shipyard, uh, PT PT Dock Pantai Lamongan, so mm -hmm. I become a, a internship trainee. Uh, observe uh, many things about a shipyard company, uh, mm -hmm. the 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 business process, the mm -hmm. engineering team, and if uh, you know uh, docking and docking process. So mm -hmm. we observe. Uh, 
from the a vessel they uh, had a, a, a contract with ship owner between ship owner and the shipyard so after the contract is finished so the vessel can enter the shipyard okay i see okay um so can you tell me again about uh, your roles and responsibilities from oh, okay. your uh, uh, experiences that are interesting? Uh, the, inter- the interesting one is for me as a research assistant mm-hmm. what for did one you year. Do for from, one year? Uh, from 2017 until 2018, mm-hmm. uh, I assist uh, my supervisor, which one is my lecturer also. Mr. Irfan, mm-hmm. so I assist uh, doing a technical report and uh, gain uh, the data for a laboratory experiment. Uh, so the research uh, conducted at a hydrodynamic laboratory, and we also we have to uh, um, preparation for the research the to gain the data and after that we uh, got the result and we analyzed the result uh, how to uh, the best result and examine and after that we make a scientific paper like a, a proceedings and journals so we publish in some uh, uh, good uh, publisher Mm-hmm. That's really challenging for me because that's my first uh, experience as a research assistant to learn about uh, research work. It's really challenging process for me. Okay, I see. So I see that uh, you have ever faced some challenging situations and you also faced uh, new things uh, for you to do, for you to learn. So. Um, what are your strengths and what are your weaknesses uh, in doing this kind of job? And also, uh, my, when you um, also have this position later. Okay, my, my strength is uh, I really eager to learn. Mm-hmm. So whenever uh, my supervisor and my lecturer uh, have my uh, give me, gave me my, uh, a task, I will. Uh, to uh, did it uh, correctly and suitably, um, and uh, I will uh, find uh, many books or literatures uh, for uh, increase my uh, performance at that house. Okay, good. Okay, so uh, thank you, uh, Ramatra, for having a simulation with me. So the solution is, um, so I see that a lot of uh, programs and other positions, especially management trainee, it requires this kind of um, uh, procedure that you are given assessment and then you need to record yourself or you record the, your, your computer screen uh, for them to see how you answer that question and what uh, how do you type them. So my solution for that is because this kind of assessment, the assessment you are given uh, limitation for the time, uh, with the limited time, uh, for me is to uh, give brief answers Jadi bentuk jawabannya mendingan lebih baik dalam bentuk poin seperti itu. Poin 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 atau enggak poin contoh poin contoh seperti itu. Jadi jangan bentuk deskriptif, tapi bentuknya poin dan juga example seperti itu. That would be more efficient and also effective. Number one. And then number two, um, I will give you like some secret. Uh, jadi untuk tipe prosedur atau mekanisme uh, job interview seperti ini. Jawaban kamu itu um, akan naik ketanyakan nanti di tahap gitu. Mereka akan refer back to your answers and mereka akan tanya why do you um, write these answers gitu. Dan mereka ingin tanya the reason behind it itu apa. Jadi dalam bahasa Inggris itu kan ada lima elemen yaitu listening, speaking, reading, writing, dan uh, grammar and structure. 
lancar yang paling um, apa namanya ya diperlukan banget untuk job interview adalah of course the first one is speaking ya speaking itu regardless um, our apa ya grammar comprehension kalau kita punya apa ya kita punya modal untuk ngomong lancar dan juga kita ada confidence itu nomor satu yang diperlukan kedua itu adalah grammar seperti itu um, apalagi kalau interview itu kan lebih banyak menggunakan tenses uh, yang past tense itu masa lalu karena kita pasti akan referring back to our previous experience di tahun 2018, 2017, 2015 seperti itu jadi coba bedakan um, dalam menggunakan past tense sama present tense gitu dan juga sama uh, tenses yang continuous tense yang lagi kalian lakukan banget sekarang ini jadi tiga tenses itu ya kalau kita to put it simply untuk kita uh, jelasin dengan sederhana tenses yang harus kalian latih itu adalah present tense, past tense, sama continuous tense seperti itu past tense masa lalu, present tense masa sekarang, sama uh, continuous tense apa yang kamu sedang kerjakan sekarang apa yang what's going on currently sama future tense juga ada empat masa depan kalau mereka tanya how do you see yourself in the next five years atau mimpi kamu apa di 10 tahun ke depan seperti itu and then yang ketiga itu adalah um, listening nah listening ini aspek ini berguna uh, untuk uh, melatih kamu dalam responding to the questions itu seberapa cepat kamu menanggapi pertanyaan tersebut dan seberapa bagus jawaban kamu uh, secara grammar dan juga kelancarannya dan juga seberapa kohesif jawabanmu terhadap pertanyaan yang ditanyakan apakah nyambung apakah jawaban itu yang mereka ingin dengar seperti itu persiapkan CV di samping kita every time we have a call every time we have interview session di Zoom ataupun Hangout sambil cari-cari kerja di corona di pandemi ini selalu punya CV di samping kita ataupun teman-teman yang sudah punya portfolio samping uh, persiapkan di samping kita jadi di saat mereka tanya paham kamu udah apa aja sih tahun berapa dan juga bulan apa gitu misalkan mereka tanya detailnya kan kamu tidak mau terlihat seperti bohong kan seperti itu jadi kamu uh, juga biar nggak lupa dan ngarang kemana-mana kamu selalu persiapkan tuh CV di samping kamu dan kamu juga bisa sambil membaca sambil uh, int- melakukan interview tersebut seperti itu itu juga bisa membantu banget kalau kamu memang preparationnya kurang sekali gitu dan kamu ingin jawaban kamu tetap sistematis dan structural gitu nah kamu bisa lihat dari CV kamu dari mulai tahun kapannya perannya apa jadi kasih singkat aja yang prak- praktikal jawaban yang praktis kalau mereka memang lebih kalau mereka ada Uh, apa ya kepo tentang beberapa aspek mereka pasti akan nanya lagi gitu jadi jangan takut kurang apa ya membuat mereka terkesima seperti itu nah gimana teman-teman semoga bermanfaat ya simulasi interview tadi beserta pertanyaan dan jawabannya untuk kalian sobat kampuspedia untuk mengikuti webinar seperti ini kamu bisa banget ikut online career class kampuspedia info lebih lengkapnya bisa dilihat di instagram at kampuspedia.academy ya Jangan lupa follow official Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, OALI, dan link and Kampuspedia ya untuk info-info menarik lainnya. Sampai jumpa di video selanjutnya.